Hey guys, Econs here with another World of Warcraft video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make the Glyph of Lavish Servings in pre-patch. With the level squish, you're getting the wrong food from the mana tables that you get from mages. So we're going to be taking a look at a quick trick that lets you get the Conjure mana buns. Uh, so you can continue to craft these in pre-patch and make some gold. I've actually had some really good success selling on a few of my low pops as well as my full pop, which is a uh, Tychondrius NA. I actually managed to sell one of these glyphs for like 50k since uh, I don't think very many people know this trick yet. Uh, so this is my scribe on Tychondrius. These are cells in like the past uh, maybe 20 hours. I think I looted my mailbox yesterday on stream, so it should have been uh, yeah, roughly like 20 hours, I believe. Did sell a Kyperium rocket, which is an uh, engineering mount for 67. And then here's that glyph cell. Glyph of Library Serving sold for 47.5 after the auction house cut, which is like a 50k list price. Have anything ancient to uh, so right now I have like zero competition on the auction house for these, even on the uh, full pop. Did have uh, four listed at 50k and four listed at 25 as well. Just to uh, lower the price point a little bit to entice more buyers. Uh, 25k for this glyph is actually really good as well. But yeah. I'm gonna see if I get any sales like t tomorrow and this weekend at 25. And you can see I have uh, actually sold quite a few of these on this ROM. 151 at 1.2k average. Um, and you can see I have 151 in my bag, so yeah, this uh, trick lets you craft a lot. I'm just uh, doing it on each of my scribes and stocking up on these glyphs. Uh, so you guys can see on this ROM, I still need to do some crafting. I am down to 11 of the lavish servings. Do have all the mats necessary, uh, the inks, powder trigger, which is just a vendor cooking item, and then the conjured mana buns, which is going to be an issue for most people, unless you do this trick. Uh, so what you want to do is go into the PvP group finder, uh, and just queue up for Ashran. There should be a pulldown right here that lets you pick between a random battleground or a specific one. So we just go specific and queue for Ashran. So once you get into Ashran, all you have to do is run to your tower, uh, set your base for Horde, and I believe it's uh, this tower for the Alliance. For the Horde, you just talk to this NPC, Jaren Emberfall, and he'll have an option to give you food. So you just select that option. Death to all who oppose us. And there you go, you get Conjured Mana Buns from this guy. Pretty simple. That's going to be it for today's video. I will be leaving this video unlisted on YouTube, at least for a couple of weeks, and leaving it accessible for Patreon members and potentially Twitch subs through my Discord. Just as a thank you for supporting my content as well as my channel. Uh, pretty neat trick. I want to give a shout out to Koya for showing me how to get the Conjured Mana Bonds. It's definitely going to be nice being able to keep these stocked, as I've seen prices uh, jump to 20 to 50k at most of my realms, uh, maybe having one or two other competitors. Uh, so hopefully this trick makes you a lot of gold as well. Uh, as always, I want to give a shout out to my supporters on Patreon as well as my Twitch subs. I am streaming usually 4 to 5 days a week uh, over on Twitch, and the link can be found in the description below. We'll be taking the next two days off to work on YouTube content, but I should be back uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this coming weekend. And I'll be streaming some World of Warcraft gold making. Uh, so I hope to see you there. If not, I will see you on YouTube in the next video. Late.